Hi, I'm Dorian Gray Rose, Blonde Buddha Productions. Today is a sober day. In Blonde Buddha Productions history as we uh, incinerate the guitar. A while back in October of last year, Dorian Gray Rose, Blonde Buddha Productions, was assaulted at Pike Place Market. Said his guitar was destroyed. It's been documented on YouTube and stuff. The perpetrators were apprehended but weren't arrested. Subsequently, they were never prosecuted after several contacts by the prosecution office. I don't know what's happened with that situation. If they're going to pay restitution or whatever. Uh, I guess Seattle does not like. They're street musicians, they don't protect them. They've had one murdered here. Uh, a tuba player was murdered at a bus stop. And uh, I've heard of other musicians being assaulted and stuff, and threatened and whatnot. Uh, it's unfortunate because Seattle music scene is pretty much up next to Boeing. And uh, Microsoft is probably the only other successful enterprise that we have going on other than Google. And Starbucks, um, but since we are not organized in that situation where we're incorporated and stuff, I guess we don't have the protections as so, uh, franchises do and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to get on this political aspect of it, I just am very upset and unfortunately disheartened by the lack of support I've had personally. Blonde Buddha is uh, having to move from its current uh, location in North Seattle. And the production has not gone as well as I'd hoped. Uh, a lot of the Seattle musicians have uh, looked the other direction and uh, have not rallied around my attempts to uh, rejuvenate the Seattle music scene. And it culminates with the destruction of my guitar. So let's step outside and take a look at this guitar. As you'll see that the guitar is now part of a, a junk pile that is accumulated on the side of Buddha Productions uh, fence here. And we're going to look at this situation. There's the guitar. Right here with the junk. You can see it was pretty badly just, just damaged. And uh, along with the other junk here needs to go. Anyhow, I'm thinking about having a, um, a barbecue with it. <laughs> yes, I said it was a sober situation, but I try to find light in it. As you can see by um, the prognosis, and it was bad, and the death of the guitar segments of this, um, and replacement segments of this uh, episode in Blonde Buddha Productions is uh, now coming to an end. We'll actually have the burning of the guitar here soon um, as we celebrate. Yeah, it's a sad thing. A lot of people have been very happy with that guitar. I've made a lot of people happy by playing on the streets. Dorian Barrows in Seattle. Um, so my coverage here with this new interpretation of a blues song called Blonde Angel. Very appropriate 
because now I have a blonde fender that I play on in the studio here. I um, do not intend to ever bring a nice guitar out on the streets of Seattle again. Uh, right now I'm cur currently playing on a, a $34 Goodwill special that I bought called the Durango. I just modified it by placing some of the leftover fender parts from the destroyed fender on it. So it, the fender still lives, but not entirely. But some of the spirits, because I've found some of the hardware on the Durango. <laughs> Anyhow. I was thinking about changing the name of this production company to... Uh, Burning Needle, the Burning Needle Productions and Reproductions Company. How about that, huh? A friend of mine took this picture. Venice. I think it's a great awakening of Seattle. I think it's. Uh, hope y'all can get the Burning Seattle, but I call it the Burning Needle. So this is a view from. This is the view from Queen Anne Hill. Burning Needle. <laughs> Sounds something different. But that's what it is. Blonde Buddha will try to struggle on through this year with more live performances and stuff as the actual studio will probably have to go into hibernation and recording will not continue. They'll just be reproducing basically all they've produced in the last two years of recordings with the technology that was available to them in Blonde Buddha Productions. Dorian Gurros himself will prepare for the uh, King of Blues uh, It's coming up here pretty soon for the Guitar Center. Um, working through uh, the tracks and stuff. So, all in all, the new year, 2012, March, Three, three months already into the new year. And Seattle, Washington has had plenty of weather that have not been too conducive to making money for a guitar player outside. Maybe a lot of indoor guys have made it. But um, I can see that being indoors in this kind of weather is very um, understandable, <laughs> desirable. So, but unfortunately, Blonde Buddha Productions, uh, Dorian Guerrero's, has not spent very much time inside. But he's a hardy Seattleite, and more, more importantly, he's a Northwesterner. And uh, he can live through this kind of weather and prosper. So we're going to continue. The next segment will be the actual, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, when you get rid of somebody by burning them. It's called what, incineration? No. It's called a, 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 f a funeral, whatever it is. It's, um, I can't even think of the word today, but it, it'll come and uh, that'll be the next segment. We'll have, we'll play some of the music that was made on that guitar and then we'll actually put it in the barbecue or torch it. So look forward to that. And this is Dorian Gray Rose of uh, Blonde Buddha Productions allowing you to We'll take you out with some of uh, Blonde Angel.